Hello folks and welcome to a brand new Unity tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to learn how to create a simple pause menu where we can pause the time in the game so everything stops and we can press escape to resume the game. Simple function uh, we take for granted in a lot of games obviously these days so um, blah 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 etc etc. <coughs> Hello folks and welcome to a brand new Unity tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to look at how we can create a basic pause menu. A simple menu that when we press escape on the keyboard a window pops up telling us the game is paused and everything freezes. And then we press escape again and we can resume our game as normal. Very straightforward, a few lines of code and can be done really really easily. But first of all, we're going to create some UI. Now, UI is obviously going to be what we display our pause menu on. So we're going to go over to our hierarchy over here, and we're going to right-click. We're going to go down to UI, and the first thing we do is create an image. And boom, there's our image right in the middle of the screen. If we go to 2D, you should be able to see it a lot better. There it is, just there. Now, that image is right in the middle no, it's not in the middle at all actually, it's in the bottom left hand side of the screen. We don't want a pause menu there and it needs to be a lot bigger. So we're going to center it first of all by just changing the position X and the position Y to 0 and to 0 on the inspector panel. I think it needs to be a little bit bigger as well, I think you'll probably agree with me there. Let's make it a thousand by, way too big that is, let's do a thousand by 800. Yeah, that looks about right doesn't it? And if we just press play now, just so you can see, we'll maximize the screen as well. Our pause menu will take up a large proportion of the screen, which is absolutely fine. Make it a little bit more attractive. We're going to change the color of it. Let's have a red color, I suppose. We could have a yellow, could mean. I do like yellow, actually, so do there. Uh, once we've got that, we can rename our image to pause menu. And inside that pause menu, we're going to create some text as well. So again, right click on the pause menu, go down to UI and create, just click on text. And as you can see, it's very, very small at the moment. So we're just going to make that a little bit bigger. Let's just do that. And we're going to type in pause Oops. menu. We can center that in there. We're going to make it a lot bigger as well. Let's do it 38. That's a bit bigger than that. 48. We can make it bold as well. And we'll drag that. Whoops, no, we won't. And drag that up there. Okay. Pause menu. We can add a little bit of. We can change the color of that actually. We can make it. A, I don't even know what color to make it. I, I'm just so. Let's go with blue, why not? Uh, and what we'll do is we'll also add a... What do we need to add to it? I can't remember. Shadow. Let's add a shadow. So there, it'll be a black shadow. We'll make it... We can make it quite big. Just change those numbers there if you want. We're going to do 4 by 4. And it just makes the shadow bigger. If you're just scrolling with the mouse wheel, there it is like that. Not necessary but if you want to make it a little bit nicer it's entirely up to you really what you do. And there we go. So that is our very basic pause menu. We're not going to do much else with that but what we are going to do now is we're going to create a brand new script. So we're going to create a C sharp script. So remember to right click on your assets area here. Go to create a C sharp script and we're going to call it pause menu. Double click on the pause menu. Oh, apparently that already exists. Hang on a second, let's come out of there. Have I already done a pause menu in this before? Actually, I probably can't call it pause menu because the canvas bit's called pause menu, isn't it? That's probably why. Ah, no, it's probably in the standard assets that I downloaded. Right, let's delete that and we'll call it something different. So this is the beauty of programming, you do come across these issues. Uh, let's just call it pause screen. Just clear the 
console ascend. Okay, there we go. So it's pause screen is fine. We're not going to call it pause menu. You might not have that same issue, but I think it's because I've downloaded the standard assets, the Unity standard assets, and I believe there's a pause menu in that as well. Okay, right. We don't need the start method, so we're going to get rid of that. Uh, we will need the update method, and we're going to need two other methods as well. So underneath here, we're going to create void. Whoops. Resume game. Open close brackets, and then you need the curly brackets there. Can I remember what they're called? And then void pause game. Same principle as well. So open close brackets at the end there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a public whoops static. For some reason I can't type this morning, so I do apologise. And it's going to be a ball. Now ball is purely a true or false, yes or no method. So a ball is just a simple is it or isn't it. And we're going to call this is paused. And we're going to set it up as false at the start because we don't want to start a game with the pause menu already active. So public static ball is paused equals false. That's basically telling us that is paused is either going to be true or false. We're going to set it to that. Um, and then we're going to create a public whoops, call me, come on, get yourself sorted, why can't I type, public game object, pause, menu, UI. Okay, and that's in relation to the actual UI that we just created, that very crude UI that we rather created. Okay, and in the update method, we're going to be looking for us pressing the escape key. So the escape key is what we want to use to pause the game. So we're going to just simply put if open brackets input dot get key down if yeah I'll use get key down for now get key down dot escape and then we're going to open and close there and if is paused. We're going to go to resume game. I'll talk you through this in just a second, how this all works. And then we're going to do else. So this is our, I think this is our first else method that we've used since doing these tutorials. Okay, so that is all we need to put there. So basically it's saying if we press the escape key and if the game is already paused, if paused, so we're saying if is paused, is true then we'll skip to the resume game function else if it's not paused we're going to go to the pause function and that's where it's there like that okay so what we need to do is we need to make the um, resume game we need to make the pause menu UI set it to false so we're going to go pause menu UI dot set active Okay, and also we're going to change is paused also equals false. So when we resume game, we're going to turn off the UI and we're going to change the ball back to false because we're not paused. And on the flip side, over here, when we pause the game, I'm just going to copy paste that bit there, and we want to set the game UI to pause the UI to true and we want to make that true as well. Okay, control and S to save that. And then we go back to Unity. It's going to compile a script. Hopefully there's no errors. No there is not. Brilliant. Okay. So we're going to create an empty. We're going to call it game manager. And this is where a lot of these different functions can go. This one's going to go in here. And we're going to drag our pause screen over to there. So that's our pause screen script. And as you can see, it's asking for the pause menu UI, which is this here. So we're going to drag that over there like that. Now, hopefully, 
When we press play, this pause menu will disappear because at the start of the game, it will be set to false. Let's press play and see what happens. He says. No, it doesn't. Okay, right. That's because, so what we can do, go to pause menu there, click on pause menu, and over here, when you get pause menu, you click on the little tick there in the inspector. Click on that, and it'll make it disappear. So when we press play, play, when we press play now, there's no pause screen, but when we press escape, the pause screen comes up. But, as you can see, the game is not paused. The sun day night cycle that we created in the last episode is still going through, so not really a very effective pause menu. So let's just come out of there. And the reason is we've actually, and I've done it deliberately just to show you, we've missed a crucial line or crucial two lines in the script. So if we go back to Visual Studio. In our resume game settings, we need to change the time scale of the game. Okay, and that's done by time dot time scale equals one. Okay, and that's the the speed that the game runs at. And then we'll do time dot time scale equals zero. So when you set it to zero, when you want to pause the game, you set the time scale in the game to zero, and that just freezes everything in the game. So if you've got enemies or any kind of moving object in the game, the day-night cycle, etc., everything in the game will just freeze. And when you resume the game, it'll reset back to its default setting of one. Time scale can also be used for other things as well. If you want to do a slow-mo pitch, um, so if you want to run or you want bullet time where the bullet travels really slowly and the camera focuses on the bullet, you can set time scale to, as you can see, it's a float. So if you remember from the float from previous episodes, you can set that to a point number, so a smaller, you could do 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, whatever. So that's really useful for bullet time and things like that. We're not doing bullet time, we're just doing a simple pause menu. So there we go. So let's just press Control and S on there. Go back to our Unity window and we press play. Okay, there's the sun going around in the um, thing. Press escape now. There you go. The sun has frozen because we've set the time scale to zero. Pause menu's up, so we know it's paused. I can still move the cursor around because obviously if there are options on here then that's great, we can we can select quick game, load game, options or whatever we want to do. Press escape again, pause menu goes away and the day-night cycle resumes its normal process. And that is it ladies and gentlemen, that is how we create a very simple pause menu just by pressing the escape key by turning it on and my escape key to turn it off. Obviously we can extend the pause screen, we can add a quick uh, button, we can add other options as well. And if you fancy seeing that in a further episode, if you want me to expand on the pause menu, then please let me know in the comments section. Let me know what we can do to make the pause menu slightly better, slightly, better, slightly more interactive. So yeah, let me know in the comments section. But that's it for today, guys. That is the pause menu. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, smash that subscribe button and the bell notification. And also, please hit that like button if you've enjoyed what you've seen today. Liking the video really does help the channel grow. But once again, thank you ever so much for watching, and bye for now.